within one of my books, it's called Lights, Camera, Action. Uh, this book is about teaching you how to become a better speaker in front of the camera. I talk about a concept known as the light zone and the dark zone. Most individuals that are terrified to speak in front of the camera are terrified because they think you have to immediately publish your work. But that's not the case. I make the argument that you should have a dark zone. This is the type of content that you create strictly for yourself. And then you have the light zone, the content that you publish. Have the dark zone moment before the light zone. Before I ever released a single video on the Armani Talks channel, I recall I was on my phone just creating talks out of the ether. Even this laptop, every now and then I'll check my video catalog and I recall videos from years ago where I'm just looking aimlessly in front of the computer thinking about, well, what do I say? And the recording light is on and I am forcing myself to say something. This is the dark zone. This is my time to learn what I am going to say. I'm using a space for me to hone my voice, understand how to articulate my ideas, play around with the tonality, and much more. And then a couple of weeks passes on by, and I thought, you know what? Screw this. I'm about to do something. So your boy drives over to this farm-like area. I'm thinking I'm in the middle of nowhere. And I began recording this episode. This was my first official video on the Armani Talks YouTube channel. Uh, prior to that, I recorded some of my old school Toastmaster speeches and posted it on the YouTube channel. But me at that farm, and you'll recognize it if you ever are bored and you want to go through my entire catalog, look at one of the earlier videos where I'm outdoors and I'm doing this. That was my first ever video where I made that, uh, that intention of saying, however this video turns out, it will be published. The light zone. You are not a true creator if you're just stuck in the dark zone. Because you could be in the dark zone and you could actually build this false bravado. Do you know how many videos I uh, I recorded in private? 500. And how many did you publish? Well, I didn't publish anything yet. How about you get one of those dark videos and just make it public right now? And this is when a lot of individuals will say, well, no, I mean, well, what if someone sees it? What if someone leaves a mean comment? That's one of the best things that can happen to you. Because as soon as you get your first ever mean comment, you begin to think, wait a minute, this is what was bothering me this whole time? I don't care about you. I don't even know you. It's more embarrassing when someone that you know discovers your YouTube channel. Because and now they try to microanalyze you too much. They'll either try to get free services out of you or they'll say, oh, I know what that story was about that you were making your YouTube talk on. It was about me, wasn't it? Uh, no, not really. No, no, no. It was about me. I'm going to be um, uh, checking out your YouTube channel more, bud. So it's more annoying when people that you know discover your YouTube channel. But even then, you will be surprised. I recall in 2020, there was this one guy I knew who would always make fun of his close friends. And we were all in a group me together, and he was so freaking mean. One of the people in the group me, he had dreams of becoming a rapper. And this guy would just roast him all the time. Come on, man. Who wants to listen to a brown rapper? Like, your dream is dead from the very beginning. And he's just making fun of him nonstop. One day, this guy hits me up and says, Hey, Armani, um, I discovered your YouTube channel. I was like, dang, man, and now I know what's going to happen. He's going to post the link of my YouTube channel on GroupMe, and they're all going to make fun of me. And that's when this guy said, I didn't know you did this. This is very cool. This guy is telling me that? I, I thought he was setting me up to roast me. So I asked him what the catch was. And that's when he told me that he's getting married, and he has to give a speech, and he wanted some advice. And he actually discovered my YouTube channel organically as he was looking up videos on how to structure a presentation. So I thought this guy was going to make fun of me, but rather than make fun of me, he was hyping me up and he was asking me for advice. 
So a lot of the times when you think that someone is going to be making fun of you, they're not going to be making fun of you. And when they do make fun of you, it doesn't sting as much as you thought it would sting. 